I've heard that that season five is already in the works. Is Terry going to make it to season five? Um, all I can say is season five is incredible. I mean, I, I thought season four and season four, you know, blew my socks off. Um, season five is again how these guys do it. It is next level, you know, yeah. uh, emotionally, physically, everything. It just it's it's just wonderful. Tell me, what was the what was the feeling like being on set? Did it feel like a reunion, especially seeing Ralph? Um, it was surreal. The first time walking on set and seeing him because we hadn't seen each other in 30 years. And oh my gosh. So we were both just standing there like, you know, little kids smiling at each other. And you know, that I got this wave of whatever we experienced way back then was so positive. And we yeah. just picked up the cliche of saying you picked up right where you left off. It was so true, you know, and he was so welcoming because it was a weld oil machine when I came on and to be able to be a part of it, I was just so proud. Even like the new cast members said that they were they were in awe of you. Like Peyton was like, yeah, even between scenes, we would still call him yes sensei. When, like, <laughs> Everybody, what? I think it was Jacob. Jacob was like, yeah, I would like, even at craft services, I'm like, Thomas, can I get you anything? Can I grab you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because I think that, 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 that Terry has this awe and it was like, he wants you in those shoes and you're living that again. It's like, it just translates, especially walking on a map. I mean, that is my world. And I just felt like I'm going to own it. And I, I, you know, that I think that had a lot of impact. Tell me about like the enduring fandom of Karate Kid, because I think you have a combination of new fans of Cobra Kai, but also old fans who are watching because they loved Karate Kid so much. Well, that was a surprise to me that, you know, I, you know, I know the original movie impacted so many lives, but to go, I had so many fans as Terry Silva had so many fans and they wanted to see him come back either because they loved him or they, you know, he, he scared the hell out of them, whatever their reasoning. You know, <laughs> Terry Silver lights this uh, fuse of interest, which um, which I was just surprised with, and just like I embrace and go, isn't that wonderful for the show? You know, yeah. and then it goes back to that the, the original writer Robert Mark Kamen and the original director John Alvison did create these iconic, you know, archetypal characters, and here we are today that we get to just see tear them all apart and say what's really going on inside. What are what are some of your favorite comments that you've received from fans? Um, it, it it's. It's, it's what surprises me the most is just this outpouring of love for this character, um, which I don't know if it's good or bad, but I kind of, <laughs> you know, I'm grateful. Tell me about the physicality of, of this series. I mean, what it's like having to go through and training and, and you know, working with, with everybody. Well, I've been a martial artist my whole life. I grew up doing it as a kid and, uh, it, it, you know, it's not something I, I ever stopped because it's sort of my therapy and it's given me so much in my life. Um, but, you know, to go on set and go, Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let it out. Of course, doing it 10, 12 hours a day is a big thing. <laughs> so after the first day, I'm going. I'm coming home and sitting in the bathtub for a while, <laughs> and I gotta pull back a little because I think, oh yeah, I can do this. Um, so it's a bit of a reality check, but uh, it, uh, I, I love doing that stuff. And again, it, we get to uh, have so much fun with the fantastic uh, stunt and fight choreography team. Oh yeah, for sure. What well, and how do you recover from from the days like that? Like, what's the secret sauce to making sure that you're a hundred percent the next day? Any like weird routine? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, you go back to my athlete days when I was competing, and this was such a huge part of my life. I go, oh yeah, how I had to pace and in terms of training and all that. And so you just modify everything, and then I think uh, you fall into a pattern, and you just uh, you're more aware. I think the uh, you know the first sequence I had the adrenaline uh, action sequence, the adrenaline takes over, and you go, I'm gonna let it out every take, and it's gonna yeah. be at the speed, and then you go and. Oh, you're not going to last for the rest of the season, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.